We'd like to welcome everybody tonight. Um, oh, here comes someone else. To Honors Night, this is a, a night of great excitement. We just met with all of the students that received um, Honors in Humanities, and there was so much excitement in that room. Some of the students were graduating. Some of them were going on to graduate school. Some of them had career plans. Some of them are going to be here for another year as they finish their degrees, but there was great excitement. Um, and we want to hear from you after we have our presentation um, and hear a little bit more about your journey and what it meant to you when you learned that you got an honor. Um, we'd like to hear from the faculty members to tell us a little bit about those students uh, that they see in the classroom that they know so that we know them a little bit better. But um, I'm Brenda Phillips. I'm the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I do a lot of that behind the scenes stuff. So I haven't been able to meet many of the students and I'm looking forward to that tonight. So let me pass this off to Associate Dean, Dr. Kyoko Takanashi to help us with um, announcing our honors. Yes, hi. Um, so we'll start by announcing our award winners today with the word of congratulations from us. Um, and in, during the presentation, please feel free to um, chat with each other, um, put nice congratulatory messages for each other um, in the chat. Um, you might be able to, I think you can private chat as well. So um, have fun. And after the presentation, we will have a chance to um, have a nice intimate conversation. So enjoy. Greetings. And welcome to Honors Night in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences here at IU South Bend. I'm Brenda Phillips and I'm the Dean of the College. First, I want to thank Acting Associate Dean, Dr. Kyoko Takanashi and Administrative Assistant, Nick Wart for making tonight's event possible. They spent many hours ensuring that you would have some kind of a ceremony to recognize your accomplishments. Thank you. Thank you also to the faculty who have spent so much time over the last several years adapting to this pandemic and helping their students to reach this moment of success. Finally, thank you to all the family and friends who made tonight possible. We really appreciate your steadfast support of our students. Normally, we would be gathering for an evening of public recognition and a reception, but the pandemic has preempted making such an, a gathering possible, hopefully for the last time. Nonetheless, congratulations on your achievements, which you have accomplished during what we all hope is a once in a lifetime event. You have done so through mindful care of yourself and your family and your professors. You have been devoted to public safety while also navigating your own learning path. I'm grateful to you for caring for others. We are aware that some of you have lost family and friends and our hearts are with you. We mourn with you. We wish you comfort and this moment of both excitement for your achievement and sadness for your loss. Tonight, please know we are your academic family and we celebrate with you. We admire your perseverance as you've worked your way through remote learning, online Canvas sites, breakout rooms to reach this moment of honor and distinction in your life. You have built your own remote learning roadmap as you were driving on it and here we are at the end of that road. You're now facing a crossroad with choices that will take you onward for careers or perhaps continued learning. The road is yours to keep building. Know that you have made that roadmap and it is your own and you can keep driving on it successfully. Grab the wheel, steer it where you want it to go. You've proven you have the skill set and clearly the knowledge because of your honors tonight to navigate on down that road. So whether you are graduating this semester or here to receive an award and continue on with us, please know that you are our academic heroes. You have persevered despite so many significant obstacles and we are incredibly proud of you. Tonight is about celebrating. So let's get this party started. Hello, I'm Dr. Mar Marino, Chair of the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. I will announce the awards for the Natural Sciences Division of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. The presentation is arranged mainly by the uh, department granting the award and not by the major or minor program of the student receiving the award. We begin with the Department of Biological Sciences. The Outstanding Biological Sciences Graduate Award goes to Desiree Diamond. 
and an award for excellence in biological sciences research goes to Keith Taylor. For academic achievement in biological sciences, we have two awards, Amelia Huey, Philip Marsh. The department supported several students with the Michael S. Kaufman MD Fund, Marissa Million, and Rana Hamad. The Michael S. Kaufman MD Fund also supported Kyle Geller and Amanda Fetter. The Dr. Ann M. Grenz Biology Scholarship was awarded to two students, Nicole Haas, Salin Chan. Scholarships from outside the department were awarded to two of these students in the Department of Biological Sciences. The Bender Scholarship was awarded to Hannah Shank, and Nicole Haas was given the Lynn R. Williams Dean Scholarship. The Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry gave out two Freshman Chemistry Achievement Awards. Rachel Hall, Samantha Jones. The ACS Undergraduate Analytical Chemistry Award was given to Nassim Alfadel, and the Undergraduate Award in Organic Chemistry was granted to Megan Fanti. The recipient of the Student Excellence Award in Biochemistry was Ashley Katanzarite, Hunter Richmond won the Joseph H. Ross Seminar Award. The Carolyn and Lawrence Garber Summer Research Scholarship went to two students, Sabra Alajmi, Natalie Fox. The department also awarded the Gretchen Anderson Pathways Scholarship to two students, Abigail Gumape and Joel Rael. The final award from the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry is the George Nazaroff Scholarship. This went to Nassim Alfadel. The Computer Science Program and Informatics Program are both housed in the same department, the Department of Computer Science and Informatics. We start with the Computer Science Program. The Computer Science Excellence Award was given to Noah John White and the Adam Ross Barker Memorial Scholarship was granted to Chase Tompkins. The Computer Science Program also granted two awards from different funds, the John P. Russo Fund for Academic Excellence, supporting Hannah Gotha, and the William J. Knight Fund for Academic Excellence in Computer Science is supporting Benson Jengella. The Informatics Program gave two scholarships. The Informatics Scholarship was awarded to Michael Dukes, Aaron Haas. The program also gave an excellence award to Charles Lane, and Michael Dukes received the Titan Gold Scholarship from IU South Bend. The Department of Mathematical Sciences gave out two excellence awards, Shirley Fry, Chris Stockman. They also awarded several scholarships. The Chris Keeney Actuarial Exam Scholarship goes to Meredith Torres, Shirley Fry. Another scholarship from the department is the Faculty and Alumni Scholarship for Excellence in Mathematical Sciences. This award goes to Jason Johnson, the Faculty and Alumni Scholarship for Excellence in Mathematical Sciences was also awarded to Kayla Krakove. Another scholarship from the department is the Dorothy Allen Memorial Mathematics Scholarship that went to several students, Shahrukh Shah. The Dorothy Allen Memorial Mathematics Scholarship was also awarded to Ebenezer Barinda, Benson Jengela. The Department of Physics and Astronomy invited several new members to the Sigma Pi Sigma Honor Society. The inductees are Kelly Allen, Dane Campbell, 
Cody Kripe, Jordan Edwards, Angel Garcia, Michael Nelms, Jason Rainul, Shweta Vital. The department also made several awards for the CTS Corporation Scholarship in Physics. Elizabeth Alters, Christian Rugelio, Preston Porter. The Excellence Award in Physics and Astronomy goes to Cody Kripe. The Department of Physics and Astronomy also made two scholarship awards. The Z Scholarship in Physics goes to Cody Kripe and Angel Garcia. Congratulations to all of our award winners for this year. We look forward to seeing them again in the fall semester after a nice break of the summer. Or if they are graduating, we look forward to hearing about all the great things they're going to do after leaving IU South Bend. And thank you for attending this award ceremony. Hi, I'm Dr. Kyoko Takanashi. Acting Associate Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. I want to thank Nick Ward for making this event possible, and I extend my warmest congratulations to all of our award winners and graduates. Some of you are continuing your undergraduate journey, while many of you are graduating and moving on to the next chapter of your lives. Whatever the next stage of your journey and wherever you are headed, Please know that we are all cheering you on. For now though, let's pause to enjoy the moment and celebrate. I invite everyone to switch to gallery view on Zoom so that we can see each other. And go ahead, unmute your microphones and let's share a big hooray for everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Well done, well done. Oh, look at those smiles. Thank you. <laughs> We love having evenings like this. We wish we could be in person, but it's so wonderful to see your faces and to celebrate this moment with you. Thank you, Dr. Marmarino, for doing a wonderful voiceover um, with our honors. We really appreciate that. We have a number of department chairs and faculty members here with us tonight who know many of you. So we'd like to start with having them talk about some of you a little bit. Could you tell us a little bit about some of the students that we have with us to celebrate their accomplishments and the dedication they've put in? Who'd like to join in first? I'll go first. Some uh, uh, the physics majors that I see uh, in attendance tonight include uh, Christian Nuhalio. So Christian I've known for a long time. He has pretty broad interests. So for a while he was a history major and I think he's taken lots of courses in the humanities. But he's settled in as physics as a major. We're very uh, happy to have him with us. And congratulations, Christian, on your scholarship. Uh, Cody Kripe is a more recent addition to the department, but he's made a really uh, strong impression on all of us in the department, working with uh, Dr. Levine in his uh, dark matter lab. Uh, congratulations, Cody. Also as an SI in uh, our intro physics course. And then likewise, uh, Angel uh, Garcia Simmental, um, uh, is graduating very soon. He's done a great job as an SI. He's worked with me in research uh, over at Notre Dame doing some nuclear physics. Um, and so congratulations to all those physics majors. Good to see you tonight. Thank you. Let's hear from a couple more faculty members. Dr. Muda, Dr. Marmarino, Dr. Cheng. Uh, I believe Dr. Grenz is and, um, muted. So. Okay, Dr. Grin. Put your hand up if you want to to say something so I can catch you a little bit better. Let's go to Ann first. No, I, I was going to fill fill in the pause here. I'm just delighted to see that a number of our biology uh, scholarship winners are here. Um, I'm trying to keep track, and I, it's on multiple screens, so I'm afraid I'm going to miss somebody if I start calling people out. Um, but I see that, that both uh, Nicole and Selin are here. I want to point out that they both won scholarships that are 
uh, targeted in part to students who've done a lot of peer mentoring. Uh, so they have both been tutors, um, they've been involved in um, various mentoring activities on campus, that sort of thing. So really want to shout out to Yay for Students Helping Students. Um, I see Hannah is, is on here, um, another uh, award scholarship winner. Um, Hannah was uh, participating in the our internship program at the Indiana Health Center. So um, she has, has been making a contribution that way out in the community. Um, Rana, of course, has been very involved in student government uh, along with um, all of her academic activities and that sort of thing. So biologists are everywhere. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure who, who else we've got, we've got on here. If I, if I missed you, oh, Amanda, yay. Um, so Amanda's gonna be doing research with somebody this summer. I don't remember who, but Amanda, you wanna speak up and remind us? Um, it was supposed to be with Dr. Nair. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Kyle, you made it. Cool. Kyle was one of my, was one of my um, supplemental instructors, embedded tutors. Uh, for Molecular in the fall and did a great job. Desiree, who I don't think is on here, um, actually served in that, fun that role for two years with me. So lots of really accomplished biology majors and congratulations to all of you. And certainly in a year when we have learned how science makes a difference. Thank goodness <laughs> oh, yeah. for science. Yes. So bravo to all of you who are going into that in that direction. Um, so how about some other faculty members that would like to speak about the students they have here that they're so proud of? I would, I would like to um, say that I'm kind of sad because all these um, great students and I only remember three of them. I see Hannah Shank from Nanotechnology and then Nassim and uh, Ashley from my class this semester. Uh, but I've been busy as chair and I haven't been teaching as many classes. So I haven't met so many of you. I mean, there's so many um, biology students here as well who've gone through our, our uh, general chemistry and organic chemistry sequence. And I'm just sad that I never got a chance to meet you. I oh, Dr. Moon has had some students in class, yeah. hasn't she? <laughs> yeah. I oh, can I talk? Okay. <laughs> please, please tell us. Yeah. So again, thank you so much for all these uh, students who have done super, super, super good work. I've had Nassim, Leisha Hall, and Samantha, and uh, and uh, yeah, those are the ones that have come to my mind right now. But they have done so, especially in the lab. Most of them have done excellent job, and we are so proud of them. They are excellent in the lab. Nassim has done a lot of list, uh, has done some research with me and she'll be working with me in this in the summer. She got a smart scholarship. So we're very proud of her. Uh, so congratulations to our other chemistry majors who are graduating and they have done, they have made us very proud. Most of them are going to, some of them are going to graduate school. We're so proud of them. Yeah. Thank you. Dr. Cheng. Okay, I see three of my wonderful students here. Benson, Jason, and Chris, Chris Stockman. And uh, uh, I have a lot to say, I try to cut it short. And uh, Chris Stockman came to uh, our department two years ago as a transfer student. And I had a first advising uh, session with him. I have to say, I never had such an easy and pleasant experience when you do advising. He has everything well organized. And all the questions are right to the point. And when I say one thing, he knows what's the next sentence I'm going to say. So I prepared one, one hour and finished in 10 minutes and I get registered and uh, during the last two years, and uh, he had some classes with me, hardworking, honest, and uh, so thorough. If there is an easy way or a hard way, he always chooses the challenging way. He took a graduate classes, he does not have to, but he chose to do, take the challenge and did so well. He also helped other students do well in the tutor. It's a such an all around excellent student. And uh, Benson, 
Benson is a mass minor, actually. But we award him a scholarship. Well, I'll tell you why. Um, two years ago, in uh, computer science, he's a computer science major, mass minor. Two years ago, and our campus start to offer uh, J- uh, the Java. I ne- never had Java myself. So I said, I'm going to, t- t- Raman was the instructor. I said, I'm going to take the class. And uh, Jason was my study partner. You know, because we, we do programming, we have a study partner. And uh, Benson always sit next to me, so we have a study partner. I was so impressed. So, such a hard work student, so motivated. And uh, sometime in the evening, in the weekend, uh, I casually went to campus. He, the chance to run into him is great. Computer science lab, he is always there, seems to me. When I was there, he's there. And uh, also such a pleasant person, very respectful, very friendly, very thorough. And then he had my, another cl- probability class and impressed again. It's, a, it's just an excellent student. So even he's a mass by not a mass major. We award him a scholarship and well-deserved. Jason. Jason was a computer uh, science major. And then later he also chose a mass major. So he double major in uh, computer science and uh, math. And uh, it's interesting here is uh, because I'm teaching a probability class, which is a required class, mainly is for computer science major. And uh, he impressed me. You know, usually you, when you're teaching a place near 30 years, you don't get impressed very easy. But this class, uh, I, I was surprised. Oh, I still can get surprised. Jason's work is so logical. He not just get work done. The logical explanation, the detail. And sometimes he does not ask many questions, but anytime he asks a question, that's a penetrating question. And this kind of intellectual communication between him and me is uh, made teaching so interesting and fun. So I always say it's good teacher made by good student and Jason is like those student. So every time I grade his quiz, I'm impressed, I add a sentence. Would you consider to be a math major as well? And I'm so happy after a couple of times he responded, what need I need to do to be double major and also in mathematics? Now here he comes. Now he received excellent student award, well-deserved. And uh, I just say here, yes, instead of, you know, students always send a message, you say, I appreciate you as a professor. And I say, yes, uh, I appreciate you to have a student like you because you made my teaching so worthwhile, so awarding. And uh, it's all my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And one of the things I just wanted to say is that there are so many scholarships here that are named after people who have donated from their own paychecks to make sure that you had scholarships. And some of them um, have been phenomenal people in the lives of those of us who are in this this Zoom tonight. Um, We're incredibly grateful to people whom scholarships are named after, um, like Chris Keeney, um, Gretchen Anderson, Larry and Carolyn Garber, and Grenz. These are people who believed in the future and they believed in you. And following in their footsteps by receiving some of those awards means a great deal to those of us who are in this chat. I wonder if we could just call on Dr. Marmorito for a minute to tell us a little bit about Gretchen Anderson and why that scholarship, that new scholarship has come around and what we hope will happen as a result. Oh, well, Gretchen, uh, it's, it's hard to describe her. Um, she was phenomenal. Um, everybody loved her, basically. I remember uh, most, the thing I remember most about my visit here 20 years ago when I applied uh, for a position was her, really, uh, and just how friendly she was, uh, and, and in fact, how the whole department and the university was. So I was really moved to come here. Uh, because of the people who worked here, and Gretchen was a large part of that. Um, she was an outstanding teacher, researcher, uh, department leader. She was chair of the department for many years, and um, after she uh, retired and passed away, um, honestly, I, I, I had recurring dreams about her. She would come to me and, and tell me how to do things properly. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that, that was a, a 
a great comfort actually. But the these, uh, scholarship in her honor is uh, to, well, is, is focused, uh, it's not limited, but focused to um, students early in their career. And so um, that's why it's called a pathway scholarship uh, for those students who are uh, changing their pathway to uh, a biochemistry related uh, degree. Um, uh, it's not a requirement, but that's uh, kind of the intent uh, behind it. And so this is the second year we've made those awards and we've been really proud of the uh, students um, uh, who have applied. Uh, of course, the students who've won those awards, but um, when we read through those applications, uh, it's really remarkable to hear the stories of our students here at IU South Bend. It's really inspiring. I just can't imagine uh, being in their shoes. Uh, things were totally different. My situation was totally different when I went to college uh, 30 years ago, and I realized I just had it so easy. I don't see how our students um, do anything, really. It's just amazing. That scholarship happened because family and friends and colleagues made it possible, and it was one of the most rapidly endowed scholarships that we ever established here at IU South Bend. So all of you who have received scholarships named after someone, please know that it's because we believe in you and we believe in what you're going to contribute to our communities and our society. So we'd like to hear a little bit from you now. Uh, maybe a couple of you could share with us what it was like when you heard that you got an honor or what you see happening down the road for yourself. If you're, if you're graduating, throw your hand up. Anybody graduate? Hey, Amelia, congratulations. That's wonderful. Well, we are so proud of you. Um, we'd like to hear from a couple of you about what tonight means to you. Benson. Can you share? Thank you. Yeah, I can. Uh, well, first I would like to thank uh, all the faculty from uh, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences uh, for uh, organizing this. Um, from a student perspective, um, these scholarships and awards have been encouraging and um, they've been motivating us to keep working hard and uh, I, um, do our best um, because there are people out here that appreciate our work that we do, um, like what Dr. Chang said, um, the little things that um, I was doing in class, um, like working with her or working hard in our class and now I'm getting um, something. This is very motivative and it's very helpful for our students. So I'd like to thank all of you. Thank you. That was beautifully said, Benson. Does anybody else like to speak to their professors or their departments about what this night meant to them? Uh, so getting the Academic Achievement Award really meant a lot to me. I really value my uh, studies and it's really uh, been helpful to prepare me. I start Ohio State uh, vet school in the fall, so I'm attending their College of Veterinary Medicine. And I'd really like to thank Dr. Gren specifically, her zoology course and her molecular and all of the courses I've taken with her have really been incredible and encouraged me to keep learning and to keep branching out. So I really enjoy all that. Amelia, you take my email anytime because I'm a very proud alum of the Ohio State University. It's also Big Ten like this. And I have had all of my dogs at that vet school um, in their emergency room. And so you're going to a great program. We couldn't be more proud of you. Um, I, I, Nassim, I think I heard your name a couple of times. Yeah, okay. Hi, everyone. I wanna say something for all the chemistry department and all the faculties at IOSB. When I came to IUSP first, uh, first year, I was so struggling in my English language. And they encouraged me a lot, uh, especially I'm gonna, gonna, going to first with the Dr. Piri and Dr. Mona. She encouraged me a lot to do, uh, to do well in classes. And I, I appreciate all the, the chemistry department and all faculties. Dr. Kessie, he, um, 
encourage us to do well in, chemis in organic chemistry. And Dr. Mer uh, Marmarino with the physical chemistry class, thank you for, uh, thank you to you all. So. Thank you, Nassima, congratulations. And I love your backdrop. That's one of the best I've ever seen. Why don't we hear from one more student um, who'd like to share a little bit and then we'll wrap things up for tonight. Uh, hi, I would like to share. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, yeah, I appreciate all the, the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences has done for me uh, as an informatics major. Uh, while I don't recognize any of the professors, I do still feel welcomed. Uh, and I would like to thank my professors, uh, Dr. Surma and Dr. Hakeem Ho Zadeh. Uh, they've been a big help and a big inspiration to me. And I can't wait to see where, uh, what next semester has to offer. That's what we love about all of you is that you are forward thinking, you appreciate the context with, that you're in. And we are so incredibly proud of each one of you. I love seeing your faces on the screen. Um, I'm gonna love seeing your faces next year when we don't have to wear these masks, but it's good to see you on the screen at least. Um, thank you, especially to all of you who have been peer mentors. You make such a difference in the lives of your fellow students. You help make dreams come true as well. And Nicole, I think, wanted to say a shout out to Dr. Grenz. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say, uh, so when I started at IUSB, I was actually a radio radiography major. Um, and then I realized halfway through that that wasn't what I wanted to do. So I emailed the biology department in kind of a panic. And I was like, what can I do to help? And then they sent me right to Dr. Grenz. Um, and she has really helped me in every single step of my college career so far, um, whether that was advising or just learning more about the biology department and like what careers are possible for me. Um, I took two classes with her this semester and I'm planning on taking more in the future. So I'm really glad to have um, someone like Dr. Grenz at IUSB to help our students. Dr. Grenz is one of our most effective advisors. Let's, let's give her a hand. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Um, and yeah, I have to just, she took two classes with me, each of which was a lab that met twice a week. So she, Nicole has been doing the let's overdose on Dr. Grenz routine. Um, she has spent a lot of time with me uh, this semester and uh, I've certainly enjoyed it. I'm glad to hear that she's had a good time with it as well. So thank you, Nicole and Amelia. Thank you both for your kind words. And Dr. Clear is giving a shout out in the chat to uh, Selin for her help as an SI for organic chemistry. Um, our faculty believe in you, they invest in you, they've devoted their careers, their lives to you. Um, please know that as you move forward into whatever the next few years bring for you, that you are going to do a phenomenal job. Um, we have seen this potential in you, we know it's there, so believe it in yourself, all right? We are incredibly proud of you and we want to congratulate you again. And we look forward to seeing you and hearing from you. And for those of you that are moving on to commencement, we'll see you next week. Very excited to do that. And please stay in touch. We love hearing from our alumni. Congratulations to everybody. And thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Let's give a big round of applause. Take your, take your um, mute off so they can hear it. Everybody demute, unmute. There we go. Let's do this. Congratulations. Thanks, everybody. Bravo, everybody. Have a great week. Take care. Have a great week. Thank you.